Bennu State stands out as one of the earliest states to domesticate the SDGs in Nigeria. This was followed up with a prompt and concrete action to access counterpart funding from the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs. These efforts have started yielding results with the delivery of people-oriented projects for the benefit of the people. The report. The crown in the jaws of achievement by the Benue State Government is unarguably the imposing Benue State Center for Enterprise Development and Innovation in Makodi. The center has facilities for training of youths in every area of vocation just like all the skills acquisition centers in Apa Ajila and Bajimba in Adu and Guma local government areas. All the centers will provide a much needed platform for skills acquisition which will empower the unemployed youth in the state to become entrepreneurs, thereby removing many from falling into poverty. On a recent working visit to the state, the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs, Princess Adecheke Orilope Adefulire, embarked on an inspection tour of the project, which was constructed in partnership with her office. She also promised to fast track the process of ensuring that the project is immediately completed and put into usage in the interest of the people. To ensure the successful implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals across the country, the importance of strong support from the legislature cannot be overemphasized. The Benue State Government, in realization of this, recently organized a one-day workshop for the members of the House of Assembly with support from the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs and technical backstopping from the UNDP. The report. One of the concerns with implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals is the challenges of proper funding for achieving the targets set out in the development framework. Tackling the issues of funding is important and requires the support of the lawmakers. The need to overcome this challenge, as well as enlist the buy-in of the state legislature, necessitated the one-day sensitization and advocacy workshop for members of the State House of Assembly on Sustainable Development Goals in Bainway State recently. Lawmakers in state houses of assemblies, apart from being close to the grassroots as representatives of their various constituencies, are also saddled with the statutory responsibility of approving annual budgets of their states. It is therefore believed that effective partnership between the legislature and the executive is essential for the achievement of the SDGs. The workshop, which treated a wide range of topics, was organized with the theme the role of state houses of assembly in the implementation and achievement of the SDGs. It provided an opportunity for the government to restate its commitment to good governance and implementation of pro-poor programs and projects. Governor Samuel Ortom said his government attached great importance to the SDGs and being the first state to domesticate the initiative. It would ensure that the state does not fall behind in its strive for the attainment of the goals. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, Princess Adejoke Orelope Adefulire, emphasized that the successful implementation of the 2030 Agenda in Benue State requires grassroots acceptance as well as policies, laws and financial resources to effectively implement them. Early engagement in mainstreaming and prioritizing the goals, targets and indicators and support in the implementation process. The United Nations Resident Coordinator and UNDP representatives in Nigeria, Edward Calon, on his part maintained that implementing the SDGs requires effective coordination with and between multiple layers of governance, both national and subnational, as well as strengthening partnership with diverse stakeholders, civil society, parliament and local authorities. <laughs> 